What's up, you guys? Deeksy here with a quick hit before the Islanders visit the Montreal Canadiens on vintage year 2000 night or something they're doing at the Bell Center. But really, it's Patrick Waugh night at the Bell Center, even though Patrick Waugh will downplay it in its entirety. But yes, Patrick Waugh is now the head coach of the New York Islanders, and the timing was right to get him into his first couple of NHL games as head coach because one of the first few games right back at home at the Bell Center in Montreal, where that jersey is retired in the rafters. Patrick brought us two Stanley Cups, right? So hence why I'm wearing, oops, hence why I'm wearing the uh, the jersey, the jersey here too, the Stanley Cup patch, and it's a goalie jersey. It's Carey Price, and, you know, unfortunately, Carey didn't have the chance to, you know, bring home a couple cups for us the way Patrick did, but maybe he'll be part of the staff someday, and maybe he will get that chance again sometime in the future. I don't know. But Patrick Waugh, we know him. We love him. We got him on the wall. At least I got him on my wall over here. I'll get a little close-up shot of that figurine, which has become a staple of the Deeks backdrop here. So I just really, uh, I really love it. And growing up, growing up loving the Canadians, I mean, I, I, I first learned to love Patrick Waugh and Kirk Muller. That was kind of my first two players. And then Mark Recchi was my other favorite player. So good times, good times. But regardless, the Canadians are going to host the Islanders tonight on a the Canadians are currently on a three-game losing streak, whereas the Islanders are sitting only two points back of a wild card spot. So this is also a big night for Samuel Montembeau. He's going to get the start tonight. He's a French Canadian goalie. He's the first French Canadian starter since what, like Jocelyn Thibault or Cristobal Huet. Um, I don't know that Huet was French Canadian though. We call him Huet or Huet is what he actually was. The proper pronunciation was, but. You think back to Jocelyn Thibault and Patrick Waugh, that's really the, the players that you think of as goaltenders that really were ma mainly Patrick because he was a star and brought two Stanley Cups to Montreal. But Samuel Montembeau is the first starting goalie that potentially has star power, maybe you could say, at this point in his career. And he has been, he has been paid as a number one starter for the Canadians. So it's a big night for him in front of Patrick Waugh, in front of the home crowd where you know they're going to give Patrick a big ovation. It's going to be electric in the Bell Center. Marty St. Louis said it's going to feel like a Saturday night in there. So, and it is. It's it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So, I mean, Patrick Watt is not making it a big deal, however, because he actually decided to not hold the Islanders morning skate at the Bell Center. They decided to, they opted to do it back at home before coming to Montreal so that there wasn't a media circus awaiting Patrick Watt in Montreal. And I know that they're going to get the chance to interview Patrick post-game for sure, but uh, the, Patrick didn't want to make a big scene before the game this morning, not wanting to add any distractions to his Islanders team. He wants to bring his team in there to try to get two points, and they have a very good chance of getting two points against these Canadians right now because the Canadians are currently rattled. They are, as Marty St. Louis called it, kind of fragile, and they've lost their confidence a bit, right? So not expecting a ton from the Canadians other than a more solid effort. So we know that there's no major lineup changes tonight except for Lucas Condotta coming in from the Laval Rocket. He just got recalled yesterday, and he will play. He's a centerman. So I, I have to think that he's going to center the fourth line with Michael Pozzetta and Yoel Armia or Brendan Gallagher perhaps because we know that according to the lineup here, Jordan Harris and Jesse Ulin will be sitting out for the Canadians in this game tonight versus the Islanders. So that much we know for the lineup's sake, but uh, the Canadians are currently sitting eight points out of a playoff spot if you really want to know. I mean, not like you can't look it up yourselves as always, but currently the Canadians are 19, 21, and 7. The Islanders are actually sitting at 20, 16, and 11. They've got a lot of overtime losses, actually, so we'll see what kind of matchup we get. We just know, and like some of you commented down below in the last videos, that the expectations for the rest of the season are we want to see effort from the Canadians. We want to see some positive signs from the young players that are going to be part of this core going forward and that we're going to be watching long-term with the Canadians. But we also know that we kind of wouldn't mind if the Canadians got another top 10 pick or better in the upcoming 2024 NHL entry draft. We're all, we're all really looking forward to the trade deadline, seeing what we can acquire for Sean Monaghan, seeing if we can get a half decent return for Jake Allen, seeing if there's interest for David Savard, Possibly Mike Matheson. I doubt it because we really could use Mike Matheson right now. If we're going to rebuild, we have to rebuild on the back of players like Mike Matheson, who is a very valuable piece for the Canadians at this point. So that's what we'll say. Uh, as far as the Canadians lineup is concerned, Josh Anderson does find himself on the top line with Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield, Cole, Cole Caulfield as the Slavkovsky, Caulfield, Suzuki trio has been broken up at least for now anyway, and that experiment temporarily is over for the time being. However, 
Yuri Slavkovsky playing with Sean Monahan, they had good chemistry last year, and they have to refine it again um, as they play together again with UL Armia, which I'm totally fine with that pairing. And Harvey Pinar with Jake Evans and Brendan Gallagher, and then Pizzetta with Tanner Pearson. Actually, I almost forgot about Tanner Pearson. So it could be Lucas Condotta, Tanner Pearson, and Michael Pizzetta on that fourth line. We did see Gallagher kind of rotate into the fourth line a couple games ago as well. So we'll see where they slot in Lucas Condotta, but he is a centerman, so you have to think – He's going to get a chance to play center on the fourth line. That's where I expect to see him tonight. So that's all I got. All right, guys. So let's look forward to a game. Let's just try to, it's always so much easier to do pregame because there's more positive energy and interest going into it, not knowing what's going to happen. But after a game where I got to do a post game video somehow a day after a loss where Habs fans are just feeling it. We could, I could tell, I can tell when not every one of you guys show up as often as you normally do when we're losing because you guys want to show up when it's positive and there's good stuff to talk about, right? Good energy. That's what we want. We want good, solid energy coming out of this game tonight. So we have to hope that the Canadians will perform well, start well, and put up a performance that we can respect, especially with number 33 in the building. Come on, let's go. All right. We'll see you guys post game. Islanders Canadians. Thanks for watching. Hit like if you're enjoying this channel. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Almost at 5,000 subscribers. We are just over 50 subscribers away from the 5,000 mark. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for all your support so far, guys. It means a lot, especially in the tough days of this, of the rebuild here during the season. I get it. I get it. So thank you all very much. See you soon guys. Ciao.